Holy cow, it's cold today. Now, if we have any viewers up north, you can laugh at me all you want. It's, I think, 45 degrees outside right now, which in Florida, because of the humidity, it usually feels about 10 to 15 degrees colder or hotter, depending on if it's hot or cold. So, right now it's 45 degrees, but it feels like it's in the 30s. So we are all bundled up right now. Um, so our goats, we have goats, as you as you know. Um, we have four goats, actually. So what are you doing? Why is so much? No, 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 no. That's a lot of food. I want to fill it up as much as I can. So can you get all that? No, 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 not, no, no, no. Not today, buddy. Because we're, we're getting her on a different schedule. Leon, can you go disconnect the fence for me, buddy? So we have four goats. Uh, one uh, fainting doe, her name is Mocha. Then we have Mocha's daughter, Sophie. She is half Nigerian, half fainting. And then we have Saffron, who is our Nigerian buck. I know, I know, you guys are excited. You ready for breakfast, come on. And then we have Waffle, who is a Nigerian dwarf buckling, soon to be uh, weather. He's gonna be a, like a companion goat. All right, let's see if I can catch Waffle, because he's getting castrated today. So, Mocha, we uh, thought a while back was bred. And, um, no, we did not do a pregnancy check on her, but um, she ran with Saffron, and I thought the job had gotten done, yada yada, and so we let them go. Well, earliest estimated due date for her would have been January 16th, but there was a very wide period of which she was running with him, so it could be January, it could be February, it could be March. Well, the other day when I was out here, she uh, displayed what appeared to be possible signs of heat, which would mean she's not bred, which I'm like, no. So I put it in a note in the calendar, and because I was like, all right, you're, you're just not bred. So we were gonna toss her back in with saffron in 18 days, which is, would have been the cycle, the heat cycle, so that she could get back with him at her peak heat, and he could get her rebred. Well then yesterday morning, I come out here, and it looks like her udders are bagging up. And I'm like, are you bred? Are you not bred? So. So we're like, all right, okay, we need to do a pregnancy check on her. But here's our dilemma. If she is pregnant, it's gonna take two, possibly about two weeks for us to get the results back. And if she isn't pregnant, then we missed our window. We're gonna have to wait a whole nother month to toss her in with saffron. So I reached out to her vet, who we're taking, uh, well, uh, saf uh, we're taking waffle to to get fixed. And I was like, do you have a way to check, pregnancy check goats? And he goes, I got an ultrasound. And I was like, all right, there we go. So we're taking Mocha, because that'll be like instantaneous. We'll, we'll see if she is bred. Um, we'll know if she's not. And if she is bred, we'll get to see how many babies she's got, which I'm like excited about. So crossing my fingers, hoping and praying she is bred, because that would be amazing to see. And I'll share it with you guys, and then we'll know. All right, let's see if I can catch. Yo, mama, go! Sorry if it's a bit bright. Are uh, we gonna have to do this today, Waffle? Like, you, have you just gotten so unhandled? Alright, I'm gonna need your help. Hold it here. Alright, come on. That's okay, I got it. Alright, we're gonna corner him. Come on. I know what to do. Yep, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Yep. Alright, so you go there. Uh huh. Lift up the panel. No, you don't, Waffle. Really? There we go. Alright. Good luck. There we go. Okay, Leon, you got a gap. You got a gap. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Got it? Alright, let me just get a waffle. It's okay, buddy. Block it. Block it. Block it. Don't let him through. It's okay. Good boy, Saffron. Sorry, it's okay, I'm Waffle. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Good boy. Alright, I got him. All right, go ahead. 
and drag it over. Wow. Good boy. Yeah, All right. Yeah, just lay it down. That's okay. All right. Okay, buddy. I need you to go get a uh, lead rope. All right. Can you go get a lead rope? Hi, Saffron. Good boy, Waffle. See? It's okay. I'm just going to give you some scratches. What Come on. I don't know who would be the dinosaur ancestor of the goats. Good boy. That's a very good question, but I do not know the answer. All right, okay, I'm just gonna stand here and hold him. I know the dinosaur ancestor of the giraffes is the uh, Brachiosaurus. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep, that is correct. No, Waffle, you're gonna stay put. Good boy, see? See, you're okay. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. We're just going to take a little trip to the vet so that you can go back so you can in a, in a, in a month or two run with Sophie again. You can play with Sophie again. I'm sure you miss playing with Sophie. Yes, there you go. See? It's okay. I know. Yes, you're sweet. I know you are. Yes, hi honey. Hi, Saffron. Hi, bud. There you go. Just waiting for your lead rope. See, there you go. You can eat. Okay, hey, so total fit. Yes, this okay. is blocked. Record. Took my bachelor pal. I tried some bacon. 
soften up to me. Leanne, can you go reconnect the fence, buddy? Saffron, you got Sophie here. You're not alone, don't worry. You aren't completely alone. We'll bring them back, I promise. It's okay, buddy. All right, so we're waiting for Saf for uh, we're waiting we're waiting for Waffle to. Uh, he's got some um, anesthesia. He's gonna lay down and go to sleep, so he can work on him. So while we're waiting for him to kind of go down, we're gonna go ahead and do Mocha's ultrasound. Come on, Mocha. Yep. Here, Camila, hold this. All right. It's a good girl. Come here, honey. She's a fainting goat, so if she locks up on you, that's why. There we go. Come here, honey. Come here. It looks like she's bagging up to me. She had she had um she had her first pair of babies. Uh I gotta look in the archive. I can't remember what month it was. Come on this side on. Is good girl. Are you pregnant, Mocha? Just said it was yeah, this one, this machine is it's made for preg chicken cows mostly. I yeah. use it for preg chicken dairy cows. That's cool. Um, so if, if like in really early goat or sheep pregnancies, it's not very useful. But if they're far enough, I've used it a few times to check them far along, well, and, and it works. Her earliest expected was January 16th. Mm -hmm. But the latest would be March, so stay right there, Mama. <laughs> it's a little cold. I know, honey. Good girl, Mocha. Whoop! Hold still, So it shows you on your goggles? Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right. Let's see if you got anything. Pregnant. She's pregnant? Yep. Oh, awesome. Yep. How many, do you see any? I uh, can't, so this thing is not very useful for counting um, fetuses or honestly even, sometimes usually I can't even see the fetus, but there are 100% uh, placentomes here. Awesome. That I can see. Uh, for me, let's see that. He's a good girl. Yay, Mocha's pregnant. Good girl, baby. I need to get that button since it's for a little button. Oh, I don't want to hit it yet. Let me try it. Good girl. Push it. All right. Did you get like a still image? Yep. So if you want to. I can smell the alcohol. So when you, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's for conducting the, the ultrasound waves. If you want to, you can put this headset on. Okay. What it looks like is there's like a band of black fluid uh -huh. kind of like right in the middle maybe a little little higher up and then you'll see three almost bubbles yeah like wider bubbles inside that and all three of those are those are three placentomes the placentomes are the connection between the uterus and the placenta so you think there, might, there could be three oh no there's whether those there are... was one or whether there was ten there's a lot they have like oh so they there's... have lots of placentomes ah. so counting placentomes isn't isn't useful Good girl. Um, I just tried to get an image where you could see like Oh, that's cool. As many as you could, but yeah. Right, yeah, fair enough. We'll get her down. Can I see? Yeah. Yes. Yep, just look in that screen. Pull that back. There you go. <laughs> Let me put this alcohol Can you up. see it, Leon? Whoa, that actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, there's like three. You should, should be able to see three bubbles in there. Yeah, I do. Good girl, Mocha. Here, let me go this. tie her up. Come here, honey. Oh, get yourself online. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, Mocha. That's pretty cool. Let me tie her up. Awesome, she's pregnant. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of what is, you can see in the goggles on the camera so I can show you guys. We'll see. Yeah, just sit there. See, he's starting, he's starting to, he seems to be starting to get a little, little sleepy. All right, let's see if I can. All right, let's see. You're a good helper. All right, let's see. So you just put this on. Yeah, or you don't even have to put it on. Just okay. kind of, yeah, just grab it and hold the goggles in front of your eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You see those, you see kind of three bubbles? Yeah. 
So she is, but she is pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. They don't have those without being pregnant. Awesome. Oh, that is so awesome. So she's got, what did you call it? Pla placetomes? placetomes. So with the placetomes, does it, depending on how far along they are, do, are they bigger? Mm -hmm. yep. So if you've, you, so you said you've used it sometimes before a pregnancy a check goes? A few goes. times. It's definitely not my specialty. Is that like pretty big, the ones that she has? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, she's. Yeah. As big as they were. Yeah. She's pretty far along. I couldn't tell you whether yeah. she's like a they, week or. They only or, carry or, for five or, months. Or four weeks. Yeah, exactly. So. Just, you know, but. But yeah, she's definitely advanced. She would be in her, like, probably like the last third of gestation. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, so at the lays. Oh, Leon! Here we go. Rodeo. <laughs> it's okay. Did he won't go. Sleep yet? No, he's not. He, he looked like he was getting a little <laughs> lackadaisical, but apparently not, not quite asleep. He ran off. You got him, Leon? What do you think? Okay. All right, here, give it to me. You get behind him and give him pressure, buddy. Put pressure on him. Come on, honey. Come on, Waffle. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's not putting up as much fight. He's starting to get a little tired. Yeah. Come on, honey. I know. I know. This is so strange. Oh, there you go. Just lay down. Good. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Just give him pettings, Leon. We need to start handling him more. He's been in the buck pen for too long. Now he's acting all crazy and wild. Good boy. There you go. All right, I think it's finally starting to set in. Now he laid down, he's like, oh. What finally set in? He gave him a sedation, so he'll kind of go to sleep. When? Earlier. Yep. I didn't see anything. Oh yeah, he's yeah. quick. He works you know, fast. Up, I gave him a shot. There you go, buddy. Wait, let me guess. That was whenever you walked up there to him to go. pet him. Yep. There you go. You pet him and secretly Just put in a see. shot? Just oh, go to now sleep. he's going to sleep. Yep, just let him relax. There we go. He's feeling good. I'm going to go ahead and get him castrated. And then we'll see you guys after that. Back at the farm. Hold on. Hannah is like, Riku left me. I need to be where she is. I'm in the pen eating my breakfast so no one disturbs me and I don't like being here by myself. Hannah, are you ready to go? You say, let me out, woman. All right. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and she's off. <laughs> Had to go find her friend. Anyways, as I was saying, back at the farm now. I'm gonna go ahead and get Mocha and Waffle hey, unloaded. Can you record me doing this trick? Hold on, buddy. You wanna do a record trick? Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, show me your trick. Whoa! Right onto the electric wire. You're a daredevil. <laughs> Get these goats unloaded. Ugh. Mocha. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. All right. Here, buddy. Can you leave Mocha? Here's Mocha. Come on, Mocha. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. She's fainting. <laughs> she got a little excited. Here, let's get your foot straightened out, Mama. Oh, she's locked in. Give her a second. Give her a second. A pregnant mama. Yay, look at that belly. Let's see if we can get her from the, from the back. Look at that baby. <laughs> All right, let's get Saf, let's get Waffle. Ugh. Waffle, honey, I'm sorry, buddy. Come on, we're back home now. You can go run with Saffron. It's tough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. I know. Come on, Waffle. We're home. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you 
you go. Come on. Good boy. There we go. Leon, no, come on. Take her to the fence. Oh, you gotta disconnect the fence, bud. Good boy. I need you to disconnect the fence, Leon. Here, bring Mocha to me. Good boy, Wafflesy. I'm sorry, honey, it had to be done. Come on. Come on, Waffle. There you go, Waffle. Come on, baby. Here, bring Mocha to me, buddy. All right, I'll stand here. You go disconnect the fence. So, yes, mocha is bread. That's awesome, that is wonderful news. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what it is that he should make. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a good shot of it uh, in the goggles, which you can see on the camera, so I'm gonna I'll post a picture. So basically what he was looking for was placetomes, which if I'm, under, if I'm correct in my understanding is basically connective tissue that connects the uh, placenta to the uterus wall. And it is only present, of course, when they're pregnant. So given the size of them, he said she is definitely late term pregnancy. Um, definitely in her last trimester, whether or not she's gonna actually kid in a week or four weeks, he couldn't determine. So, um, but he did confirm she is bagging up as I suspected. And uh, we're gonna start keeping an eye on her. Hopefully we'll have some babies soon. Unfortunately, he could not determine how many babies there were, how many kids there were. So we'll have to, we'll have to see but she's definitely pregnant, which is awesome. You seeing what I'm seeing? Well, what I'm seeing is a pregnant goat. Mm -hmm. It is a very pregnant goat. Did you know Mocha's name used to be Bubbles? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, it was Bubbles. It's a good boy, Waffle. Hi, honey, I'm sorry we had to do it, buddy, but you'll be able to stay here with us, and you'll get to run with Sophie, and. Be happy, okay? Go, mama! Go, mama! Go, mama, go! Go, mama, go! So, goats. Obviously, we've got cows for milk and uh, beef, but what are our plans, our intentions for the goats? We So, basically, um, we intend to, down the road, build a fainting goat herd. Um, now, Fainting goats, unlike Nigerian dwarfs, are meat goats. And so what we want to do is we want to breed fainters uh, for pets, for um, which I've actually heard that fainting goats actually produce pretty good milk as well. So they're kind of like a dual purpose breed. So we are going to build up a fainting goat herd, ultimately uh, sell does, sell bucks, sell weathers, um, and basically, every litter, keep one or two weathers for ourselves to raise for meat, and the rest would be either sold or kept as pets, and uh, Jolings obviously raise up for milk and uh, produce more kids, and so just kind of, that's kind of the, the goal, the plan in mind. Now, um, right now, Mocha is bred to our Nigerian dwarf buck, Saffron, and, um, the only reason we're doing that is because we just don't yet have a uh, fainting buck. We're actually trying to, we're currently working on trying to locate a good quality fainting buck, um, as well as some does, but we're not yet ready to purchase, but we're right now just kind of building our source for one down the road. And uh, so in the meantime, we are breeding mocha to saffron, primarily because saffron, the coloring that he has, he is a apricot uh, goat, uh, buck. So that coloring successfully threw in Mocha's last, uh, I think they're called litters. Um, but unfortunately, because Mocha was an experienced and I was not present whenever they were born, she kind of neglected the apricot doling and it did not make it as, if you guys go back further on the vlog, you'll see that. What I'm trying to do, because we got Sophie, who looks just like her mom, she's gray, she's half faint, half fainting, half Nigerian. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, she does not present the uh, fainting gene. So, um, since she doesn't fa present the fainting gene, um, her offspring, there's a good chance that her offspring will. What are you 
you doing, child? <laughs> her offspring, when, if, when she gets bred to a fainting buck, her offspring will be 75% fainting and more likely to actually present the fainting, like actually faint. So with that in mind, that's kind of basically the end goal is we want to breed fainting goats and I want to try and get a, uh, try and start working the apricot color into our herd so that if I can get them to throw another apricot doling, we're gonna keep that one. Saffron will move on to a Nigerian herd with someone else so he can go make more babies. And then we will source and find a nice quality uh, fainting buck. I really wanna get a moon spotted one. And we'll try and see if we can get her to throw apricot babies and we can have an apricot fainting goat. That would be really, really awesome. So that is the plan. So I, now that we know Mocha is bred, we're gonna start keeping an eye on her and uh, preparing for our first kidding of the year. Let's see how that goes. Crossing my fingers, hoping and praying. She's got the experience now. She, even though when she first kitted for the first time, she did not know what to do with them. Uh, we took Sophie, we bottle raised her for a few days and then we reintroduced them and she accepted her back and she was an excellent mom after that. So I'm hoping now that she's had experience, she'll be much better off this time around. Yeah, she's definitely bagging up, so. Keep your eyes out. Hopefully we're gonna have some baby goats here in the next uh, few weeks.